astute control of the uh, the economy here displayed by Savage and his team. Renegades here behind the A4, but of course we know that they can do it. They did it last round with pistols, and they're going to do it this round as as it jumps out. Savage does get one, but uh, as a here on the uh, on the offensive, he gets the second. That's beautiful stuff. Can he get the third? Oh. Yes, as a you hero, he gets the triple. TB replies, and it is a two versus three right now, and it looks as though the VG boys are slinking away from this. No, they're not. It's a two versus two, but uh, not sure if they'll go for this one. I think that they might. They have a buy next round, and the tack pool is coming out. So, Jim, two rounds in a row here. The, uh, the B fast push has been successful for Renegades. Will VG fall for it a third time, or will they need to? This is a huge frame. What is Ricky doing? He hasn't noticed that the uh, the terrorists, ha the CTs have come behind him. Justin is now in a one versus two. The Molotov comes out. Oh, no, Justin's cooking down. He gets the first. He doesn't get the second. I think VG might have this. No. No. By the skin of their teeth, Renegades oh, survive. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Ricky, the moment of truth. He did not see where those bullets come from. No idea what he's doing there, but Renegade. He's actually positioned himself off the Molotov. He knows exactly where that Molotov's going to land. That's crazy there from TB, but he has straight too far to left. Gets the bomb down. It will be Advent getting one, but it will be Renegades overrunning the B bomb site here. My apologies. The A bomb site and uh, Savage now, two versus two. If it was anyone alive but Savage, I'd have way more confidence, but it is Savage. He gets wow. that orb headshot. JKS two versus one for Renegades Tournament. He needs to get this one to stay in the game. He'll work his way towards the bomb and slowly pick it up. JKS covering all the angles. He does have the bomb now, but Savage and his teammate Lovey waiting in anticipation for this plant to come in. JKS considers where to plant and uh, does go for the backside of the bomb site. He's going to leave himself open. And he does get the plant here, so we will have two versus one situation. He doesn't know exactly where they're going to come from, but they're going to group up here against JKS, and he needs to find the frag, so he's... Uh, in a tough position here. He is against the, both rifles. So Savage has swapped out that AWP for a rifle in the opportunity to try and trade out. JKS needs to find this first race. He doesn't. And that is it. VG are the winners of Zowie Extremes Land 2016. And uh, they will be taking home that $40,000 prize generously, generously put forward by uh, their sponsors in Zowie. What a tournament. What a final. It's been valiantly fought by both of these teams. Renegades. Despite winning that first map, go down afterwards, and VG are victors. And uh, to the victors, the spoils. The they spoils. take home the winner's share of the $100,000 prize pool here. $40,000 for first place. VG walk away with the cash and the and the prestige as they win, as I said, the Zowie Extreme Land Asia Tournament there being held in Shanghai. What a fantastic final. Couldn't ask for anything more between the two best teams at the competition. Yeah, VG were just absolutely clinical from start to finish. Every gun that they played this tournament, they were the superior team. And Renegade's really the only team that pushed them that full distance. Obviously, the only other map they dropped was in circumstances where they were very much uh, not on time. But either way, they've managed to become victors here. Yep. And they fought their way through. So... It's uh, a really great show of strength from uh, VG, and there's a couple of reasons why uh, they need the congratulations of not just uh, you know us and the community who are watching for winning the tournament, but also for their own sake. They're under a lot of pressure playing at home, so for them to deliver a championship to their organization is massive. They're constantly fighting Tai Lu at the very top end of Chinese CS for those bragging rights. And the first time that Tai Lu's been absent from a big tournament like this, VG have swooped in and taken it. So a massive congratulations to them for putting in the hard work and discipline required to take their game to a very, very high level. Of course, we know the Renegades and how great they are. They played well. They played with heart. They never gave up. And uh, that's what we expect from them. But at the crucial moments, it was clear and evident uh, to me at least that VG had their number and uh, had put in the work required to just to debunk those little favourite plays that the Renegades had. Well, I think that was pretty clear to everybody that saw the uh, the level of intricacy that uh, 